Okay, on our way to the convention center, sharing a pedicab with my friend Robert Newman. Here we go. I didn't understand that. Say it again. Kisame Hoshigaki. Cool. You like it? Thank you. Who are you guys? The Sea Lace Guys. And are you having a good time at Comic Con? Yes. What are you doing here? First time here, just having fun. And who's this? Hi, I'm Chris. And who are you dressed as? I'm just a miscellaneous mash of characters. I'm just enjoying it. I'm Captain America, I'm soon to be a Spartan, a ninja, and I'm a new person. Very cool. And who are you here to see? Um, I'm here to see all the artists who do all the great artwork in all my comics. Daddy and child. Cool. You guys look very cool. This is Sharon at Comic Con. We got it now. You got it. We're going to have a lot of different varieties. So first I have Scott Derrickson, the director, a hand I have Jennifer Connolly here today. That's right. We have the producer, Erwin Stoff. And the moderator, Michael Broidy. Thanks a lot for being here. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. trapped in this human body and uh, I just thought of him as since he came to be a kind of you know to, to see to judge that when he looked out he just was looking out so there was a kind of objective objectifying quality to him and um, and a containment a kind of com compression I mean, and as opposed to the original, which was a little, you know, Kalachi was a little warm and fuzzy. Mm -hmm. He was a little more human than human. Um, I'm not that guy. <laughs> uh, but, but, but part of the story is as, as Kalachi kind of goes on his journey of, of seeing and looking, he is slowly affected by the humans and, and about, in a way, being human. Trapped in a, in a human body, so that sort of he's hints, contained, contained in a human body. That sort of, I guess, is a hint that when we first see him emerge from his spacecraft, he may not be the guy that we just saw on film. That's true. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, in the original film, one of the things I, mean, I watched the original film quite a few times, you know, before getting into pre-production on this, and because I wanted to understand, you know, what what were the essential things that made it work as well as it did, and, and what occurred to me is that that film, the, the Robert Weiss film really takes place in the real world. It feels like Earth, and it, it's, not, uh, it's not an overly um, fanciful movie in the way the production design is done, except for the alien elements, and there's the ship, and there's Gort, 
and there's the space suit that Klaatu walks out of, and those three things are so not of the world. They're so not human. They don't belong to the earth, but they belong to, to each other, and, and we try to... Well, I read the script before I saw the game. Yeah. Oh. It's like it's like doing a concert in Japan. You don't really say anything. They just go. Eh. I like it. Now I now I know why the new kids wanted to go back. <laughs> you start missing this kind of thing. It feels good. Get you all warm in the pants. No. Um, I um. Uh, no, I read, the, I read the script after doing uh, Invincible, The Happening, and The Lovely Bones. I wanted to kick some ass again, and I, I got an opportunity to do it in a way where I think I did uh, more than I got to do in, uh, in The Departed, in movies like Four Brothers and Fear. This is that, those characters times ten, and, and the guy is driven by emotion. So, uh, you know, people are going to understand why he's, he's so committed to not only finding out, but also cleaning the streets of the scum of the earth. And, uh, you know, I feel like with my street credibility, my, my arrest record, yeah. my time on the street, that I was, I was credible enough to play this role and make people feel like they were going to get their money's worth when they saw it. And uh, I think they were. Flashback to the year 2000 when Brian Singer was here. Comic book movies were by no means the hottest flavor of Hollywood. So without you guys, there may not be this current phase of comic book movies. So I have to say thank you to all of you. Now, I have another huge thank you to say to someone in the crowd today, and that is uh, without whom there would be no Wolverine, because he's the creator of it. Len Wayne, where are you, Len? <laughs> Len, stand on up. We're going to have a guest spot on Len. Can I get down here? Is there a way to get down here? Lynn, buddy, I have to shake your hand, mate. Because from that hand came the character that gave you a career. Thank you, buddy.